Hello everyone, this is Seth, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of my game Neocolonialism, which is a turn-based game of global financial ruin. It's uh, currently in alpha, and you can go play it at subalterngames.wordpress.com, and that's a free deal for now. Uh, what I'm showing you today is the demo screen, which has most of everything that you're going to see anyway. So it's a good way to start talking about like what's up with this game. Uh, it's a multiplayer game where you're playing against two to five people and you're role playing as finance capitalists. Your goal is to extract as much money from the world as possible. So there's 12 turns and each turn has three phases. There's the investment phase, the policy phase, and the IMF phase. And we're right now in the IMF phase. In the investment phase, at the start of the turn, players are buying and selling sovereign bonds. Each region, and these are the 11 regions on the map, uh, each of them has 10 bonds. And you can see on the pie charts on the lower left uh, who has what bonds, how, the, how that's all distributed. Uh, the value uh, of each bond, and subsequently how wealthy the region is, uh, that's determined by what we have built or uh, proposed in each region. For example, Africa has a mine right over here. So its bond value is $6 per bond. That's how much it costs to buy a bond. Europe is also $6 because it's got a factory over here. Now, China, on the other hand, is worth $15. It's much more than the other two. Um, it's got a mine and a factory. However, when you link these two up, and that's done automatically, uh, the goods from the mine, from the extracted facility, are processed in the factory, which uh, is even more valuable. It's as valuable as if you had another mine. Uh, the factory, you can see, is linked up to two mines. The second mine is via this free trade agreement here. This mine in South America is linked all the way to here. South America is worth $6 because it only has that one mine. But because of this factory is producing goods in China, that's what makes China so expensive and so valuable to us. So the reason you want to buy bonds or sell bonds alternatively is for two things. First off, uh, bonds give you money. You can see that the payout value in China is $5. It's always one third of the bond value. They pay out at the start of the investment phase. You make money this way. So that's the first thing. And what do you use money for? You use it to buy more bonds. More bonds means more money, which you use to buy more bonds and so on. Because the second thing that bonds are good for is that each bond is a vote in Parliament. Now, Parliament shows up in the policy phase after everyone is done buying and selling. In the policy phase, each region uh, that players bought into elects a prime minister. And that's from the players. You can see that in China, it's me, Seth. In Australia, it's Xenophon. And the Prime Minister can call for policies. Uh, and then everyone in the region, who's got bonds in the region, that is, they get to vote. And again, it's one bond per vote. Uh, one vote per bond, rather. That's the way it goes. Uh, we can vote on uh, three different things. We can vote to build a factory, to build a mine, or to make a trade agreement. Some of those things are good for the country. They make it wealthier and they raise the bond value. Some of them do not. Let me explain to you a reason, for example, why we would choose not to make a country better or a region. Uh, you can look at Africa and Australia. Now this solid line means that Afri uh, Australia has proposed a free trade agreement with Africa and it's also ratified it. It's a two-step process. The dotted line means that Africa has yet to ratify its half of the deal. Only when both sides ratify it uh, is the agreement in place. Now, when that agreement is in place, Africa won't be any better. It'll stay just as impoverished as it is. Australia, on the other hand, is going to uh, be worth more because of the mine linking up to the factory. So why would Africa's parliament ever choose to make this deal? Um, well, that's because its parliament is full of horrible people. And by horrible people, I mean us, the players. Players are horrible human beings. And they have invested in not just Africa, but in Australia also. So it's in their interests to make this agreement that doesn't help Africa in any way whatsoever. 
because it makes them wealthy in Australia, and that's a net gain in money, which means more bonds to be purchased later. However, there's a force to contend with, and it's chaos. Chaos happens in the IMF phase, when all the regions are done doing their thing. A crisis hits a region every single turn. You can tell which one it is because it's red. In Central America, mines are devalued. There was a resource shortfall. It only lasts this turn. Next turn, it'll be back to normal and something else will happen. Fortunately, perhaps, for Central America, there is an ostensibly benevolent organization out there called the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. And, whoever, and the uh, control of the IMF passes between each player. So right now for this turn, turn one, it's me. I'm the IMF managing director. And in Central America, I can choose to turn that mine, this one, into a factory, build a new mine, build a factory, or make a trade agreement. Now, I am personally going to be thinking about one of these two, building a mine or building a factory. A factory would link the mine to the factory and after once this crisis is over, Central America will be worth just as much as North America, twelve dollars. That is a four. Uh, that would multiply that value by four, four times as wealthy as it is now, just in one go, just by building the factory. That would be the nice thing to do. However, the meaner thing is the one that's going to make us more money in the long run. If I build a mine here, an extractive facility it's not going to be nearly as wealthy as it could be. In fact, um, by any metric outside of the game, you would consider it to be impoverished, a, a undeveloped region. But the reason I would build this mine is because mines are currently devalued. Now is the time to build them and then buy into Central America while it's cheap. This is the most uh, cost-saving, money-making, most effective way to make money elsewhere at the expense of Central America. So, the other thing to note is that the IMF Managing Director does not require votes, unlike in uh, the policy phase where voting is required. It'll, uh, it's, it's a very capricious and very powerful force, because it only happens in the region where there's a crisis. And it only happens every so often. Like, next turn, Xenophon's going to be in charge of this, and Xenophon's going to do something that I, Seth might not want Xenophon to do. But there's no voting required. It's an instantaneous, very powerful, very whimsical force. Now, I haven't told you yet how to win the game. And that pops up in the policy phase, which you don't see right now because we're in the IMF phase. There's a whole secondary thing that the prime minister can choose to do, and that's called banking. Banking also doesn't require a vote. And the prime minister takes all of the prime minister's assets and liquidates them and sends them off to a Swiss bank account. Uh, so there, that bond is gone. If, if I liquidated in China, for example, that bond would be gone. It would be in a Swiss bank account. You can't touch the money in a Swiss bank account. It's gone for the game. It, you can't use it for anything. However, whoever has the most Swiss bank money is the winner. So that's pretty much the game. It ends up being this horrific, dystopic cycle of, of impoverishment. Um, throughout the entire world uh, that looks a lot like the real world and I personally think is really fun to play. So uh, right now, like I said, the game is currently in, uh, uh, in alpha at subalterngames.wordpress.com, which is my blog. And uh, although it's buggy and it's missing some important features, it's free to play and I encourage you to check it out. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. How do I stop this thing?